We have two responsibilities. We have to work on ourselves in addition to the propagation of the message. And both are important. The first one is important because the distance between the lives of the Muslims today and Quran is very wide. Our lives are very, very far away from Quran. And we need to bridge that gap. So that needs a lot of internal effort and work. And then our second responsibility is the propagation of the message. Uh, however, we always uh, need to be clear of our objective. Our objective is not to convert people to Islam. Our objective is to convey the message of Islam and then the people choose to follow it or leave it. Because it is Allah who guides. We do not control the hearts of people. La ikraha fi din There is no coercion in religion. Inna ka la tahdim al-ahbat. Alakin Allah yadim min yasha. Do not guide the ones you will but it's Allah who guides. So our role is to convey the message. It is the right of every human being created on the face of the earth to hear the message. And then they make the decision on their own. By the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are two different responsibilities we have. Our responsibility with ourselves and with our communities is to learn. We have to learn the message of Islam separated from all of the cultural attachments and baggage that comes with it. We want to know what our religion is. What our religion is. Not what our forefathers did, or what our people back home do. Salman al-Farsi, if he was thinking along those lines, if he was thinking with this uh, mentality of وَجَدْنَا أَبَانَ عَلَىٰ أُمَّةً uh, we found our forefathers following a certain way and we're going to go along with it Salman al-Farsi would have died as a worshipper of fire so this is something that is abhorred in Quran following the forefathers is something unacceptable in Quran we find it in more than one ayah وَجَدْنَا أَبَانَ عَلَىٰ أُمَّةً فَنَحْنُ عَلَىٰ أَثَارِ مُقْتَدُونَ وَعَلَىٰ أَثَارِ مُحْتَدُونَ many ayahs talk about this in different ways Al-Haqq, the truth is one. The truth is one. And we follow the truth and that's the meaning of the word Islam, submission. We submit to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us, regardless. We submit to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us. That is Islam. So we need to have a lot of education. We need to have a lot of education. And then implementing that education. That's something very important. And when it comes to the propagation of the message, this can be done in different forms. There are so many forms, it takes a long time to go through them. Whether we're talking about literature, spreading literature, or the word of mouth, uh, cassettes, or the conduct. The early Muslims, one of the things that would attract people to become Muslim is that their characters were outstanding. People would just watch them. They wouldn't even have to speak. People would watch them. They would see how they behaved in public and private. They would see how they would conduct their business. And that was enough to convince the people to become Muslim. That's how Indonesia, Malaysia, all of South East Asia became Muslim. There wasn't any Muslim soldier who set a foot on that part of the world. They became Muslim because they saw how the Muslim businessmen conducted business. Honesty, sincerity, uh, and ibadah. And these uh, merchants who came from the area of Habramaut, they had this ibadah, they were, they were ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they would worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praying and, and ibadah. That was something outstanding in them. In addition to being very successful businessmen and honest. So it's, it's rare to find this combination. People who are hardworking, businessmen, very honest, and in the same time they are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night, devoted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with their vision towards Al-Akhirah. 
So this example was very attractive that now you have about 200 million Muslims in that part of the world. It's one of the largest concentrations of Muslims in the world. It's a Muslim to the character of businessmen. And the Sahaba who went to Egypt and they went to North Africa and they went to the areas of all parts of the world, that's how they attracted the people through their character. So Al-Khlaq, Al-Khlaq is a very, very important part of Dawah. This is a silent form of Dawah. It's more powerful than the sometimes the spoken form of Dawah. And uh, especially here in America, I, mean, I, I think I've mentioned this before to some of you, Everyone in the world is, is propagating their, their ideas in America. You have everything here. Everyone is opening a shop and trying to market their, their product. And the American public are exposed to all of this. And they've heard it all. And the people are saying, show me. We've heard what everybody is saying, but we want to see it in front of our eyes. So that one needs to go beyond words and become action. Allahu Akbar. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam.